Hey fellow agents, this is Agent Smith and we are playing King's Quest 6. So we're going to continue on. Uh, I got to do some work around the area and see if we can find a way to help out the king and queen. Uh, I do want to let her know that we're still good and it looks like the gift of the rose. I think that's why they let me grab another one. I wanted to give this to her before but I needed to have my own because the beast's quest would have taken her name a monster if I holds out the it. rose, hoping that the bird will deliver it to Cosima. Of course he will. That's his job, is delivering things to her. <laughs> the Nightingale takes the rose and heads for the castle once more. It's a smaller rose than it looks. A looked. white rose. How beautiful. It must be from Alexander. <gasps> how I wish that I could see him with I'm over arms, here! But Abdul will never allow it. He only risks capture by sending me these things. Dear to my heart though they are. Fly elsewhere, my pretty friend. <laughs> Do not endanger Prince Alexander again by taking tokens from his hand. Hey, but Forgive I like me, giving Alexander, you tokens. And forget me. I cannot return your love. Oh, you for will. fear that I shall never leave this castle again. I will bust my way out this castle. I mean into this castle. Won't come back. He's not coming back now. Alexander waits in vain for Cosima's yep. nightingale to return, but the bird does not. Could there be something wrong? <laughs> or does Cosima <laughs> simply not welcome his attentions further? All right. Well, either way, I know that when the next spell we're going to need a paintbrush, so let's go over and talk to hey, see the lamp guys here. Now we just got to figure out what the lamp's going to be like. Uh, speaking of which, uh, there's one thing I haven't done yet, and I want to see what's going to happen. Let me save this. I keep forgetting. I want to know what this does so I can use it in the right spot. Um, let us try this drink me spell and see Alexander what happens. Alexander decides to swallow the potion in the bottle labeled drink me to see what happens. Because I like seeing what happens. Suddenly, his vision fades to black. His lungs become too heavy to breathe. His heartbeat slows. It kills me? Okay. Then beats no more. Okie doke. This is not exactly how I expected that to play out. Suddenly, his heart oh, takes wait. a lurch, then beats strong. Temporary death. I bet I could use that. His chest heaves like that of a newborn. Huh? <gasps> Oh, I thought I was laying totally His vision different. clears, and Alexander feels fine. But the wedding is over, because you were out for, like, like, weeks. For a minute there, I thought, what if someone else had seen me and thought, Sounds! <laughs> Can that's now, do I have more in there? The little bottle contains some sort of potion, Does. and bears a label saying, Okay, we're going to use this in here, but first let me go get this paintbrush. No, actually, you know what? Good day, Prince Alexander. Before, because every time I talk to him, I do. Let's just stand near this guy and make him think that I have died. Oh, look at the bear. Towering mm. mightily mm, over the other bear. pawn shop curiosities, uh, the stuffed bear makes oh, a man, that bear display. is so huge. It's making me thirsty. <clears throat> so parched. Let's have some of this drink. Alexander suddenly gets a very sneaky idea. He gave me points I for that. I can't go on anymore. Without Cosima, <laughs> I'd just rather not live. Prince Alex, no! It's true! The Wazir has beaten me! I give up! Poison <laughs> is my last resort. Stop. And I hope they'll keep this freaking uh, genie from following me. I am... no... more. Maybe even help me to see what his freaking thing looks like. My lord, he is dead. Oh, what a waste. The poor young fool. He's dead. He's dead. Wait until Abdul hears. He'll be so pleased. You are a dick. <laughs> we can see a cut king seconds later in the castle. I told you not to pop in like that. You can learn one of these to two. knock like everybody I'm else. this one. Sorry, Master. I couldn't help myself. I have great news. Sparkle, well, sparkle. what is it? 
Prince Alexander is dead. He killed himself in despair over losing Cassandra. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a teehee. <laughs> what? Are you positive? That young man has proven to be most devious. Yeah. Maybe you should keep following his corpse around. I saw the whole thing myself, Master. He was really and truly quite dead. Hmm. If what you say is true, it shall be most convenient. You've spent enough time on that little irritant. We must start thinking about the wedding. Anything, Master. Now nah, he won't be following me. I can actually get I away do with some love things. Weddings. Well, we do want you to look your prettiest, don't we? <laughs> now, Shamir Shamazel, to the lamp with you. Shamir Prepare Shamazel. yourself as we discuss. Right, which one does he go into? Goes into the blue one. All right, that's his lamp. Now we know which one to get. Alexander's heart outside. lurches to life in his chest. Prince <laughs> Alex, but you, you were... Sorry, friend. <laughs> I was doing a little acting, I'm afraid. Ah, of I realized course, my head was disappearing. the strange cloaked man. You are quite clever, and a bit too exciting for an old man. <laughs> now that we're here, though, I need to trade your lamp, sir. There's no reason to trade your lamp for Alexander takes a closer look at the, items the, on the brush that you have for a spell I need. Might I trade for that painter's brush on the counter? Certainly. What do you wish to offer me in trade? This tinderbox. I don't need any more. Would you mind if I traded this in? Of course, Prince Alex. Please, choose something in exchange for the items on the counter. Alexander looks closely at the items on the counter to make his selection. I think I'd like the painter's brush. Very good, Prince Alex. The painter's brush it is. May yes. your painting go well. Feel free to bring back the brush at any time. Thank if you. I need to. I don't think I'm going to need to, though. We'll see. All right, hopefully this guy is still out here. The peppermint leaves are the color of dark emeralds. Do we need that for something? Let me save. Curious. Before we do anything here with this guy, Let's see if he needs this. Good. Yes, yes. Do you need these leaves? Would you be interested in making a trade for this merchant? I think not. I oh, do not it's have only much trade. Call. Okay. All right, cool. I thought so. I just want to make sure. All right. So anyway, let's go trade in our lamp and get a blue lamp. At least one that's hopefully close enough to that look. Maybe we'll find this. It looks like there's one there like that. Hopefully we'll find Jolo or Jalo to uh, give him the other one for this little sneaky trade Excuse bit, trick me, bit Peddler, we're doing. But I have an old lamp that might interest you. <gasps> ah, an old lamp. And what a nice traditional design, too. <laughs> Take God, your his teeth are creepy. new lamps. We want that one. A fine choice, my son. Here is your new lamp. Good day, and I thank you, sir. Good no day. worries. Hobble away, little old man. <laughs> First thing he does is rub it. Right. Another see. dud. <laughs> He's got to try, though. Now he's got to make it look nice so he can sell it as a new lamp again, of course. Hello? Is this the alley that I'm looking for? Feel like it is? I could be wrong. Let's find out. Uh, alley? Now, what can I do for you? Do you know anything about this? Alexander is carrying the mother... A ghost... Hanky... I think this is Alexander might have a hard time trying to explain that ghost handkerchief. Okay, so it's not for him. Okay, there must be somebody else named Ali here. Apparently a common uh, name on the aisle, the Green Isles. <laughs> Alright, I think we have everything we need for the spell. So, I'm going to take a quick look. Alexander. I'm pretty sure we just need to brush the paints from the, uh, the water. 
and the feather, which I already have. Swamp ooze and river sticks water. Black, <coughs> excuse me, black horse, horse feather. And add the sticks water to a swamp ooze in a cup. Stir with a horse feather. Apply to a blank surface with artist brush. Speak an incantation over the painting to materialize it. We can make whatever we need, which means we should be able to get our way into the castle. But hopefully, we've got everything we need. We'll see how this will work for us. It's time to save our queen, our princess. Um, God, I'm so paranoid, I swear. I save this like every five seconds. The guards are looking for me, so I, I worry Like if it's safe to go up anywhere. They're all looking for me. Unless because they think I'm dead, they drop their guard. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to go straight past the bushes and not go to any of that door. Here we go. Let us paint ourselves a thing. So they said to mix it with the feather. Alexander dips the large black feather into the teacup and stirs the contents gently. And then... Is it sucking the black out? It is. That is so cool. And we have a white to feather. his amazement, the jet black color of the feather slowly drains from end to tip into the teacup. It's interesting. The teacup mixture blackens and thickens to a paint-like consistency. Alexander carefully puts it away, discarding the drained feather. Now, if we can paint ourselves a door with the brush. Uh, where's the brush? Painter's brush. There we go. To paint something, Alexander must first choose a location where he wants to paint. Okay. Right here. Or over there. Somewhere on the wall, I don't Alexander care. Alexander decides to make use of the large <laughs> blank castle wall. The vizier sucks. That's what he's going to paint. No, I'm just kidding. He's going to paint a door. Of course he's going to paint a door. Real original, buddy. Ah, a doorway. Just what Alexander was thinking this wall needed. Should probably put like a door handle on it, too. Alexander has all... All right, all right. Nothing else, nothing else. All right, and I think we just need to... I think we just need to... Um, Speak the enchantment. Yeah, speak incantation over painting. Let's do With it. With trepidation, Alexander gathers his strength for the enchantment of the painted door. Magic paint, black as ink. Bring to life what I think. Make it real what I draw according to this spoken law. The spell ah, word, thank you, thank the you. The door has magically solidified. The weird tilty door, but that's all right. Let's go in. Eager to be inside the castle at last, Alexander opens the enchanted door and steps inside. The magic oh shit! We are definitely in now. Wall. So much for an easy exit, right? Where does that door go? If this wall we just took was uh, don't, but bet that one over there. the door to my left. Three dungeon doors line the east wall of the hallway. Oh, we're in a dungeon, okay. Well, I've saved. I think I just saved. I did just save, okay. Let's go ahead and try out these doors, see what's in them. Door number one. Alexander opens the dungeon door and slips inside. Oh, I hope they don't lock behind me. I didn't expect that was what I was going to be doing. I just wanted to look. The cot looks uncomfortable, not to mention a little dusty. Alexander decides against taking a nap. <laughs> Wasn't trying to take a nap. Three dun I don't want to let me do anything with it. Let's check Alexander this one. Alexander opens the dungeon door and slips inside. What if one of the men is a dumb way to do this? What if this thing auto locks on you, man? Mother? Is this what I need? Yes, it is. Mother, where are you? I've got you, kid. I've got you. Your mother is trying to get you back to the What's afterlife. the matter, little boy? I'm and that spider lost. wants you as well. I can't find my mother. I don't know why it's she coming way too close to me. Here. I've been alone ever so long. You must be the son of the spirit I met in the realm of the dead. She gave me this handkerchief and asked me to tell you that she's waiting for you there. Oh, thank goodness it went down. I thought that thing was going to start crawling over at me. I'm like, nope, get it's away, mama's. get away. It even smells like her. 
I can feel her now. Oops, sorry. I know where to go. Wait. Before you go, is there anything you can tell me about the castle? I That'd like be useful. to play yeah, in yeah. places. I didn't even think in of that. It could be useful. Behind the Man of Steel is a door. Nobody except me knows it's there anymore. Hmm. That kid's voice sounds real familiar. There you go, kid. Good luck finding your mother. It's a ghost. Farewell. The cart looks up. Dusty. Yes, yes. <coughs> dusty carts. Dusty carts. Jeez. What about... I'm going to save this again because that was just a good coincidence. What about this door? Alexander opens the dungeon door and slips inside. Nothing. The cart looks uncomfortable. All right. Well, we're, at least we're good with these doors. Now, the fucking spider. Now, it's like I said, that door that we came through, there's a door to the north of us. It makes no dang sense. So what does this do? Does it go back Alexander outside? Alexander doesn't see any way of opening that door manually. Oh, okay. All right. Well, let's continue. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me again. So this looks like look, there's a door up there too. There's a door at the top of the stairs that must lead to an upper floor. Okay. Good. The door has a doorknob and a keyhole. Which means we're gonna need a key to get in there. I wonder if that skeleton key opens anything. That'll be so cool. I'm gonna save this here in the next one. We're gonna try to find Jolo, do some more exploration of these doors, the last few doors and, and tunnels that are around here. Uh, if we can find the door that this kid was talking about, that'd be awesome. And we'll do all that in the next one. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'll see you in the next one because I'm repetitious. Have a nice day. Hey, fellow agents, don't forget to like and subscribe by clicking the button in the center of the screen. You can also find the last video by clicking the button to the left. And you can take a look at some of the other stuff I've done by clicking the button to the right. Hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good day.